everyone. Welcome to Amos Lecture Room. In this video, we will discuss the sixth unit Business Management and Human Resource Management. We will discuss the sixth unit. In the first part of the video, we will discuss the link. Which of the theory put the need of human beings in a hierarchy? Maslow's theory, Herzberg's theory, Vroom's theory, McGregor's theory. This is the theory of human beings in the need in a hierarchy present. Answer Maslow's theory. These are the motivational theories. We will see the details of motivational theories. That's why we have the Maslow's theory. Maslow's Need Hierarchy Theory. Abraham Maslow introduced it in 1943. That's why it is called the Theory of Human Motivation. What is the factor that is the motivated in a person? This theory will help you. Need Hierarchy Theory. Abraham Maslow human needs in a unsighted categorize it again. One level of need is satisfied with the other level of need arise with the other level of need. This is a pyramid shape that we have present here. The most lowest level of need is the most powerful item motivator. Let's compare it. First level is physiological needs. That is the most basic item of need. Need for food, water, sleep. Cloth, this is what you are doing. These needs are satisfied with the same level of need. The next level of need is safety, or shelter. This is the same safety, or removal from danger. This is what you are doing. The next level of need is satisfied with the next level of need. That is the social needs, or love or belongingness needs. This is the need for love, affection, being a part of the group. This is the thing. The next level is esteem need. This is the self-confidence, self-respect, esteem from others. This is the thing. The top level is self-actualization need. This need is the maximum need of a person. This is the pyramid of the first four layer needs. D needs, or deficiency needs. That is, these needs are not satisfied with all of them. But if they are not satisfied with all of them, they will be anxious. Self-actualization is B need, or growth need. This is the continuous motivation. The next theory is Herzberg's theory. That is, we call it motivation hygiene theory. Two-factor theory, dual-factor theory. Frederick Herzberg, 1959, he introduced this theory. In this theory, human beings have influence on human beings. There are two factors in the organization. Those factors are motivational factors and hygiene factors. Motivational factors or employee कॉस्ट उड़ा नान्ना इट परफॉर्म चाहिए रखे एनकरेज ही हाइजीन फैक्टर्स एम्प्लॉयज़ ने मोटिवेट ये तो नहीं ला पक्षे हाइजीन फैक्टर्स और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ले इल्ला ये नों देंगे आधे एम्प्लॉयज़ ने डी मोटिवेट ही मोटिवेशनल फैक्टर्स जॉब सेटिस्फैक्शन उन्ना को हाइजीन फैक्टर्स इन Job Dissatisfaction is done. Let's talk about motivational factors and hygiene factors. Motivational factors. Achievement, recognition, responsibility, work itself, advancement, personal growth, etc. Hygiene factors. Working condition, co-worker relationship, policies and rules, superior quality, base wage and salary, status, etc. The theory is Vroom's theory. Expectancy theory. Expectancy theory Victor Vroom 1964 लाने introduce इधर। इ तेरे के valency instrumentality expectancy theory इन्हें बारे। इ तेरे इले बारे इन्हें द human beings motivated आगनो इनके लिए मोन्ड factors इन्हें presence वेनो नान। motivational function is equal to 
valency into instrumentality into expectancy. This is the factor of expectancy. Expectancy is the effort. If you perform a task, you can achieve a target. This is the factor of instrumentality. Instrumentality is the performance. If you achieve a target, you can achieve a reward. This is the factor of valency. Valency is the reward. That reward is desirable. Reward is positive or negative. That performance is based on the reward. These are the three factors. Instrumentality, Expectancy, Valency. These are the three factors that are based on the belief in their employee's motivation. The third theory is McGregor's theory. That is the theory X and theory Y. Douglas McGregor. In the 1960s, this theory is introduced in the 1960s. This theory is the theory X and theory Y. This theory is the manager's attitude. Workforce motivation is the manager's different attitude. Theory X is the manager's negative attitude. Theory Y is the manager's positive attitude. In the theory X, the managers assume that Workforce is lazy, they don't have to do any responsibilities, they don't have to do any responsibilities. They don't have to do any work, they don't have to do any work, they don't have to do any work. This is a negative assumption of the manager. That's why they have an authoritarian style. In theory, the managers assume that the employees have to do any work, responsibilities, they don't have to do any work. They don't have to do any work, they don't have to do any work. In this way, there is a positive attitude that the manager employs. Now, we have a motivational theory called ERG theory. Paul Aldafarani theory introduced in ERG is E existence R relatedness G growth. ERG theory formulated in Maslow need hierarchy theory and simplify it. In this theory, we have three basic needs that the employees satisfy. The existence need is the same as Maslow physiological and safety needs. The relatedness needs is the same as the cover of Maslow social and esteem needs. The growth need is the same as self-actualization needs. Any matter motivation theory are McClellan's human motivation theory. E theory के मात्र कुरे पेरी वालों डर three needs theory, acquired needs theory, motivational needs theory, learned needs theory. David McClellan 1961 में लर अधैर तिन्ने the Achieving Society इन द बारे इन द बुक के लांड तो present ही इधर अधैर इधर ले कांडे बढ़ी चदो मून मोटिवेटर्स ने आना Human beings in a motivate in a moon factors need for achievement, need for power, need for affiliation. Addictor motivational theory on equity theory. John Adams 1963 landed introduced. This is the Adams equity theory in the bar. Here the theory in the bar is fair treatment. Along with the equal eye to treat in the human beings value chain. Or employee our day input and output a prim measure either. And the co-workers in the input and output item compare. Apabila treat ini itu equally ari kan? Equally, anak treat ini ni engkau, ada apa yang motivate dia, ilang engkau ada satu demotivation aw. Ini kan? Anak important ari lalu macam motivational theories. Ia satu video dengan ke helpful ari ni, awis cuci gitu. Sixty unit ini continuation, nama kita next part lekarnya. Video ista perhati like iya, share iya. Thank you.